Ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome back. We are in Brick Lane. It's end of July, cloudy day, but very hot day. Or I would, I would say, it's quite hot. And we are going to walk around on Brick Lane Market. I've just finished my live stream. Thank you to all of those who watched that video. And here I am filming better quality video for everybody else who likes good quality. <laughs> because the image on, on the live streams is not great. It's buffering. That's why I like to do 4K, 4K videos and show you some better quality videos as well. It's around 2 p.m. now. It's fairly busy. I know since, as I said, I just walked through the market already. Uh, this is where my love is. I love it. Yeah, it is. And show us, show us, show us. <laughs> show us. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Thank you. Um, you have I will come back after I finish filming, but I love it. Yeah. I'm not saying I have the body for it. I, I, I don't, but one day I will. Thank you. <laughs> love it. Look at that. Yeah, come on in. Can I go with my camera? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I will. <laughs> Love it! Oh my god, it's amazing! What is it? Is it your, your brand? My name is Naomi Anderson, guys. This is my brand, Laptop Brand. It's a sportswear athleisure brand and this is our pop up. So have a look around. Thank you. That's beautiful. Oh my god. Love it. Thank you so much. I'll look around, okay? Thank you. unexpected somehow I thought they would not be happy with me going in with the camera but that, that lady I know you might not hear because there was music they had a DJ in there. they had a DJ so I will have to remove that music and I don't know if it's gonna let me keep the audio of me talking there um, but yeah that, that young lady in that pinkish purplish dress she said that was her brand well done her clothes looked incredible if you have the body for it <laughs> not my case anymore Something flew almost in my eye. 
and I thought it was some insect and it wouldn't come out and it looks like it was some kind of fire black thing who knows I don't know even what to describe what to call it look at that I, I can afford it my darling I love the noodles is it right this one is pretty cold, it's not like this. Oh my god, the insect loves me today. Love me. Polish sausages. Yeah. Thank you. I'll just stay a minute. That's okay. Thank you. This is what it looks like. It comes with pickles, jalapenos, uh, onion. I think that's a dried onion or something like that. <laughs> Looks good. Thank you so much. Thank you. So. Sorry, I'm just re replying to my friend quickly on my second phone. Um, yeah, all done. So let me show you, for those that haven't seen my live stream, I've just discovered something quite interesting inside. Oh, let me show you finally Leonard Smith. If you see this, uh, okay, okay, no worries. It's okay, no worries. Hopefully, Leonard Smith. Hopefully, you had a glimpse on your of your beautiful potential <laughs> ring or eleven, as we established. You might have eleven fingers. One day, one day, one day, I'll buy them for you. Don't worry. Don't cry.
I'm back. <laughs> yeah, that was a live stream I've done before. Oh, nice. Yeah, so now um, I'm promoting you, if I may. Oh, thank you. <laughs> or your, your, your friend, you said. Your friend, yeah. I absolutely love it. This was this is so great. Honestly, the best thing I've seen on the market. Not gonna lie. Oh, amazing! Thanks. Really amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Take care. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Zoom out a little bit. Oh, this is so cool. They cut up old vinyls and turned it into a clock. some tiger purses, tiger and doggy purses, cameras. I could literally supply half of this store with my previous cameras, not even joking. <laughs> Video cameras and all sorts of equipment. This is where I could not go inside. <laughs> it says pickpocket as you enter. Sounds like a Romanian market. I'm joking, I'm referring to my best friend here. So, <laughs> so that you guys don't get offended in case you thought I have I had something against Romania. It's an inside joke for those who are new here. And that looks like my potential boyfriend. All, all hairy, scary and angry looking. I've never been here. I come here. I've been coming here for such a long time. I never came here because I used to be all about food and I never buy an, anything, you know, I don't buy stuff like this. It's not for me since I travel too much. I don't really make nests anywhere in the world. I just have essential items, which means three tons of clothes. <laughs> and that's it. I don't collect art. I, I don't buy any handbags and stuff like that. Um, hashtag priorities. But it's nice to be here. It's, it's a cool place. There is more. And also one person selling this this show, this show. I will find the 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 the, the internet being because it's free market. No, this this person is collect collectible and they sell actually. Let's know. Yeah. Thank you. They sell my legs on on the market. 
Oh my dog. <laughs> Oh, I thought what, what, this is actually what you put the knobs on your uh, wardrobe. They're quite pretty. I thought at first I thought that was a spinning toy that you spin on the floor and it just spins forever until I had a closer look. No. So what is this broccoli, broccoli plane? Somebody is broccoli obsessed. <laughs> I wish I was. Broccoli is good for you, but then you stink. I know because I used to be a personal trainer and as a, we had a staff room where all the boys, all the personal trainers were making their broccoli and tuna, rice, whatever. Loads of broccoli, <laughs> and obviously, I know firsthand what comes with eating broccoli. <laughs> Just saying. And by first man, uh, sorry, by first hand, I didn't mean I was eating the broccoli and producing the smelly you know, farting all over <laughs> the staff room. <laughs> it would just enter it and it would just smell already. Since we had 30 personal trainers there, so you can imagine.
Sorry. Sorry, I just want to take a quick picture. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh my goodness, these guys know me so well. <laughs> I used to come here so much. I get on their nerves, even though I gave them a long break now from from my presence. One back. Look at that beauty. <laughs> hey, I'm okay, thank you. And guess what, boys and girls? I've been here enough time, enough times to know what happens in that oven. They grill their porkies in there. So when he opens it, he's got a lot of these in there. Wow. You guys okay? Don't think too long. Porchetta roll. And the name is, in case you wanted to stalk, him, stalk them on social media, it's Pigling Street. And the man is really good at explaining about the products and where it comes from and all that stuff. I've heard him many times, he's, he's good. And this man is from Bulgaria. He's got family and kids. And he's doing a good job because the sandwiches are incredible. Look at that. I'm just looking, thank you. I'm back. How many times? Just twice. First one was a live stream. This one is a pre recorded, good quality video. <laughs> <laughs> Arepa from Venezuela. These are the prices. Hola. <laughs> He appeared out of nowhere. Hola! <laughs> Love it, thank you. <laughs> I, I say thank you for nothing. He surprised me so much, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, as I was saying on my live stream, um, Arepa is becoming more and more popular. I see quite, I see the shops expanding and many, many people. People are waiting for, uh, are queuing for it. So, oh yeah, as I expected, the rib, the rib man is gone. Oh my gosh, they packed up already. Such a shame. Rib man is probably the, the main attraction here on the market, and they pack up very early. It's about 2, 3 p.m. now. They are gone. They sell ribs, ribs and insane, insane sauces. I caught them on my live stream, so I might, I might actually link my live stream below this. Let's see. Otherwise, just search for Brick Lane Market live stream on my channel, and you will see the rib, rib man there. So these are sausage rolls and all sorts of rolls that are big, they are six pounds as far as I know, yeah I can see that here. See, hand rolled cheese and spinach. Bakhtar, fresh food, samosa. Loads of samosas here. 
And here you've got Turkish food, baklava. This is rare, this is for make fresh. I wonder if the rib man is usually the, the only stall that packs up so early or if I'm missing on quite a few of them. I literally just walked here like half an hour ago and their stall, the whole thing is gone. Those guys are, sorry, those guys are incredibly fast. <laughs> such a shame because I would I would literally eat that I would choose I would choose that to eat as I said this man is from Iran very nice man <laughs> He is here in all weathers and every Sunday, maybe maybe even Saturday, who knows, I, I don't know. I said his brain cells must be on steroids, um, you know, he is training them all the time. Brickland coffee sucks right there. And these are the uses, what you can use it for. Extra strong, can hold 70 kilos. <laughs> what came to my mind is how, how heavy is FOSS? If I want to go to India for three months or if I want to go to Italy, let me take a picture of this and I'll show him. <laughs> I would need two of these, I think. I'll smuggle him through the airport in some in some coffee. <laughs> Poor boy. I love traveling with him, so yeah, it's such a sh such a shame the traveling is over. It was it was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. Even though we are going to Bristol together for my birthday now um, this weekend for for four days to film. So at least a little adventure after quite a few weeks in uh, in London. Change is always good. Don't worry, don't worry. Relax, relax, relax. I don't need you there, don't worry. <laughs> Somebody was ca covering their face uh, when they saw me with the camera. <laughs> There is some art going on on the wall behind. I don't know if I can get all the way there. 
I'm just gonna see what's on the wall, okay? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Look at these guys. So I walked at, to the very end here. Let me zoom out a little bit. What on earth is going on? These little figurines there. Let me zoom in now. You see that? This is the first time I'm seeing this. Just random stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know who is make? Yeah. That, that man there, yeah? yeah? yeah. I was gonna... The boys make beautiful, but some, a film coming and fucking destroy everything. Now it's again made. Who came? Somebody somebody destroyed it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Even not out of the permission, you know? Really? Yeah, before it's been all wall like that. Really? Yeah. He, it looks like he spent a lot of time making it, right? Yeah, yeah. Every Sunday, you know. Really? Sunday. Interesting. That's that's the first time I'm seeing it. Seeing it. I, I never come here really. So. Uh, what, your first time? Uh, no, no, no. I, I usually come and. Look at this, woof. <laughs> Let's go back to the market. It is kind of late to be filming at this time. Uh, I would say around 11, 12, 12 would be the best time. So this is not the best footage. Plus also it's cloudy, kind of not, not great weather, but at least I'm being proactive not sitting at home, you know? What do they sell here? It looks like some kind of underwear stuff. Let me show you. Oh my goodness, what is that? Mama, nice to meet you. You see, like, what you, what you call them? Nighties? <laughs> I don't know the name. And that's past, pastime chick. So we do it, Mama. I, I don't know. But check this out. What is that? It says vintage shop. Uh, so yeah, interesting stuff. Thank you. Like clothes is one thing, but do they sell kind of underwear? <laughs> Lots of lenses and cameras. 
encontro de brasileiro é isso. Ele já tinha usado outra vez, mas eu acho que é uma coisa que eu espero que I showed you these on my live stream earlier. I do like them. I would not want to own one because I don't have a house, as I said. So I'm trying to limit the amount of things I own. But I think they are cool. That's why I no longer buy any souvenirs. The more you stuff you have, the more problems. <laughs> Every time I go traveling somewhere, I got so much stuff to put in the story, so I'm trying to keep it as basic as can be, and still I have five computers, cables, and all sorts of stuff. Oh my goodness, Tupperware, jeez, I got, I could open a Tupperware shop. I always buy new ones, never use it, and, <laughs> and all sorts of things. Dumbbells, 10 kilos, 5 kilos, 3 kilos, 2 kilos, half a kilo, <laughs> literally. Um, all the equipment, TRX and ball and all sorts of things, my goodness. And that's why I, I can't I can't be buying any more stuff. I need to sell or get rid of it. <laughs> what is that? Look at that green suit thingies. I'm surprised they're fairly re relaxed about me filming here right now because I remember in the past, long, long time ago, um, some of them were not too keen on that. I had only one lady when I was zooming on on that ring for Leonard with the lion. She was saying, you know, like like stuff like this, you know, the jewelry, jewelry and stuff like that. So she wasn't too keen on that, but otherwise everybody's okay. What do we have? It's a bagel shop. And I was showing earlier. Let me show you, let me position myself better. This is the queue, what you see, for the, for, sorry, for the bagel shop next door, right? And there is constant queue. It was even longer, I think, before. So imagine, this is the famous bagel bake shop open 24, seven days a week. Long queue all the time here. And then, You've got another bagel shop that claims they opened 1855 and there is never this is exactly the same one. there is never queue nobody is going in there I said I would literally close my business and cry at night <laughs> uh, with my ego hurt because you know you see all day every day so many people queuing here and your shop is kind of empty and according to their um, to their sign they also opened a long time ago so something went wrong <laughs> throughout the years that one shop is so popular and the other shop is always empty I'm just saying it's, it's, must be hard unless it's the same shop <laughs> then, they are, then they are doing something wrong because they should be promoting it as such to lower the amount of people waiting for the bagels and you know being equally as busy because I, I wouldn't wait for the bagel there 40 minutes I would like this video to be one hour so let's walk back
I also missed out a whole section of street food at the bottom of the road where I used to go quite a lot. I just feel bad filming the food. I've, been, I've done it for so long and all these guys know me. So I hate coming there with my camera again. I haven't been here in a long time, maybe, maybe a year. So obviously they still remember me. And even though I haven't been here for such a long time, they still might be burnt out seeing me, you know, with the camera again. It is what it is though, you know. At the end of the day, it's good for them because you guys see these videos, you know, I'm kind of promoting their business, don't I? You know, you see the rib man, you see the sauces. The next time if you come to London, you might add Brick Lane on your to visit list, which I absolutely would would visit if I came to London. And you might have specific food you want to try in mind. So at the end of the day, I'm pro promoting them and helping them with their business since, you know, some, some videos get millions of views. So I think they should change their attitude sometimes and understand how things work. Look at these. I'm so grateful for internet that I don't have to play chess anymore. When I was a kid, there was often nothing, nothing to do. So, you know, we played all sorts of games. I, I, I was never into it. So I'm um, thank God I've got distraction now. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Much better when I see you, my darling. You okay? I'm okay. Good to see you. Good to see you. Let me take a picture. Now that the table is empty, usually it's so many people around here, you can't see it, so that was a good one. Yes, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, look, the taxi, you see? There was a taxi selling coffee when I came here on my live stream. That's why it's good to come here early. Like on all markets, I was washing my hair today and hoovering my place, you know. It's partly because the, the weather wasn't as nice, so I wasn't as motivated to come out too early. But now I regret it. Look, there must have been more stalls here, potentially. That will be me soon with some food. Right now I have no option. Um, I haven't decided what to what to eat. 
I've tried this. I've tried all of them basically. I've tried the Pigling Street before as well. Um, they look. It looks amazing. But somehow, I don't know. <laughs> I would prefer. I would prefer the real man. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Look at the huge melon he chopped up at the end. He's a superman. Hi superman. Chop it, chop it. Oh my goodness. Don't make don't make this man angry. He chops chops chops. <laughs> Actually, let me go through here, babies. I saw. I've, I came here another day, and I think. Um, there were some graffiti here. Many people using this as a toilet. It smells here. This time it's different. Different walls. Yeah, you can imagine on a sunny day it would show much more, much better than right now. You can barely see what's going on, but still. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like cloudy weather. I love filming in it because it's nice and not too hot, but when it comes to, you know, showing something, it's not, everything looks dark and gray. It's not nice. So the whole winter is gonna be like this. I don't look forward to it. Let me show you the real magic mushroom. <laughs> Londres. Me no speak the Londres. <laughs> Quite a few guys here. <laughs> oh boy, 
the back of my neck really hurts today. The posture and everything, this is a disaster. I need to start working out. I haven't moved properly in in like two years or something like that. It's, it's horrendous. I really need to start doing something. They are selling the most amazing clothes. <laughs> I filmed her before, <laughs> as you know, at the beginning of the, of the video. So for those that came late, skip to the beginning of the video on the premiere. Uh, there are some good-looking girls in good-looking clothes. I recommend it. Let me see. Thank you so much for now. Thank you. Look at our boys and girls. They are taking it to another level. They put strawberries and Nutella on churros. Yes, yes, yes. My kind of choices. Thank you so much for now. Take care. <laughs> Just like a couple of tots Running along the meadows Grabbing up all those forget me nots You make me feel so Turn around. You see Truman Black Eagle Brewery. This is the upmarket, up, upmarket um, Brick Lane food hall. I'm just gonna walk, walk through quite fast and choose something to eat. eat. Sorry, I'm thinking about something else right now, so I can't speak London right now. <laughs> as I said, I've been here as well so many times, so I, I don't like coming here anymore with my camera, but it is what it is. Mexican food, absolutely incredible. I said this guy was really friendly, really nice guy. And I usually end up always buying from him. Uh, true story. Look at that. Uh, 
is so nice and so friendly and their food is amazing so if you ever find yourself here and the uh, rib man is not here <laughs> which would be my first choice give that a try That's Vietnamese food here, looks pretty amazing. It's around five, seven, eight pounds for most of the stuff here. This, this looks the best, and that's sweet, sweet chili. That looks amazing, thank you so much. I know I'm making you hungry right now guys, black bean, black bean chicken, I'm getting hungry too. Yes please, yes please, thank you so much, Ooh, thank you. Oh. I think I will come back to here, that was absolutely amazing. Which one was it? this one? The after I finish, okay? Amazing. Oh. That was genuinely amazing. She's such a lovely lady. I know her for a long time. I, we always chat. So I was signaling her this time. Let me let me just film and let me just walk away. Um, but yeah, lovely lovely people. And their and their um, Dutch pancakes. Oh my god! If you guys come here, you have to have some. Incredible. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Incredible. Let me walk around. Let me see. Irish moss. What is moss? It's a sea moss. It's a superpower. Is it? Show, show us. Show us the superpower. <laughs> See? What is that? <laughs> it's a public place. You record it. Yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Welcome to Health and Holistics. We're promoting health and we empower young adults through business and through health. So what we make is sea moss and Irish moss products, and they are so healthy and super good. They're full of minerals. And all of our products are handmade by young adults. So we offer young adults employment from making seaweed and sea moss products. So what, what, is, what is moss? moss? Is it seaweed? Seaweed? Is it? Yeah. Nice. And you get loads of minerals in your system. Love it. Thank you so, so much. And they get some soap. Soap?
when I see these pineapples, all I think about is pen, pineapple, apple pen. <laughs> oh, I'll be for forever scarred by that, that pen, pineapple, apple pen. My hunger is downloading at a rapid speed right now. Once I tasted that food, I'm getting proper hungry, guys. Not, jo not joking. <laughs> and as much as I hate spending money on street food and fast food, I only had noodles this morning. That's not a lot. Instant noodles. That's, a, that's not enough. So after I finish this video, of course, I need to buy something and devour it. These are stuffed potatoes, baked potatoes, you see? Yeah, that's, that's the size I would go for. <laughs> that's my kind of stuffed potatoes. <laughs> because I'm so ginormous, you know. Sp small potatoes are for small people, I'm not small. Oh, this is a good angle right here. So I think he said five pounds, two, four, eight. And pad thai is happening here. Love it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to how to pronounce bao. Is that how you call it? Bao? I don't know, I'm just guessing. Pork dumpling, beef dumplings, yum yum yum. I never buy stuff like that because I'm not I'm not used to it. So I usually go for something pork porky and like a real man. Real man food, you know? A lot of meat. Oh barbecue pork. Oh sticky chick uh, sticky chicken. I thought it was sticky rice. Ooh, I love sticky rice. <laughs> oh wow. You see more arepas here. But that looks good because they have shredded beef, spicy pulled oh god, spicy pulled pork, pulled pork orange. I don't know if you can read it, boys and girls. Oh, sugar. Oh, there is. Now I understand. Sorry. Sorry. Go. Let me, let me show you through here. And they've got pl plantains there. Sorry, I'm just looking. You see pulled pork, oh my God. Oh my God, that looks, that looks incredible. Ethiopian food, I see this in every market. Must be popular since they are everywhere. It looks, it does look amazing. I'm not gonna lie, it does, it does look amazing. Even though my first choice is always meat, that food looks nice. Lots of Chinese. Thank you. So yeah, 
guys. Let me walk. Let me walk to the back and we are gonna get out of here. I saw another friend there. <laughs> I usually chat with them quite a lot, even like off the camera, because I always come here and buy buy something to eat. Um, just right now. I'm filming, so let's, uh, let's get out. Oh, it was hot in there. You see? Everybody see? Sitting on the floor, eating. This is London. <laughs> Soon it's gonna be me, hopefully. That was it Sichuan chicken, spicy chicken. I'm not gonna lie, that was absolutely delicious. Uh, I might actually get it. I don't have any anything else in my mind. And after that, I'm gonna get myself um, those mini pancakes because I want to support my friend. And she's always naughty. She gives me portions for free, which is extremely naughty of her. And I'm scared to go back there because every time I queue and I, you know, I want to pay, she says, no, 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 for you for free. And I'm like, please behave yourself. So hopefully, I haven't been here in a long time. So hopefully she will let me pay today. Otherwise, I'll have to tie tie 10 pounds to a rock <laughs> and just throw it throw it on a table and run <laughs> that's the only way to pay her <laughs> oh my god and I, I do have um, yeah I do have cash because if I take my card out then you know she might not cooperate I always want to give her you know money and I put it on her table and she always says no, no, no and puts it somewhere extremely bad. <laughs> I'm joking guys, you know, she's, she's very nice. Now I think about those Dutch pancakes with Nutella and some strawberries. Oh my goodness, unexpected car in this area, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Love it. Thank you for stopping. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nice, the car is nice. <laughs> they stopped. <laughs> Look, the sun is coming out. Hallelujah. Or should I be naughty and just get. Oh, piri piri ch chicken. Oh, I remember I was in this shop actually the other day in Finchley. And I'm not going back there because the portions were microscopic. It was expensive and it came with no drink. So yeah, I have to remember that's a complete, yeah, I'll never go back to that store. I've been spoiled with amazing piri piri chicken in Tooting Broadway, where I used to live. Um, it's called Abyss, Abyss Grill or something like that. Portions are absolutely massive. It's very cheap, comes with, a, with cola, whatever, chips, incredible. Oh my God, the sauces are incredible. I don't want to even think about it. <laughs> what is this? Vegan, yes. Italian Korean fusion. What? Let's, let's go closer. Hot chocolate plus rum. You have to see this to believe it, guys. <laughs> what to do? What to do? I'm hungry. It's getting late. And I'm gonna be filming um, the women's football later on, which is not too, it's actually not too long from now. 
So I need to make a decision and eat something fast. Trying to think of the places to eat in this area. Um, I forget about what, what what is in here. What on earth? <laughs> I know my safe bet is gonna be going back there, choose something. This time I'm not gonna go for the Mexican because I've eaten it way too many times. So it's time. I've never tried that arepa thing. I just don't. I know it's gonna be incredibly tasty. I just don't think it would be enough for me. That's for little people. <laughs> I would need a lot of them and that would be expensive. So what else? Um, yeah, that's such one chicken, I swear. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna buy it. Let me take you with, with me. It's gonna be bad for the third time entering with my camera today since I've done the live stream before and we just came out of there but let me see maybe I'll wrap it up before before I enter I feel stupid But that, did you see that slow cooked pork and spicy pork and something with orange pork? That arepa is haunting me now. Maybe I should go and check it out as well. They got planta plantains, plantains. I don't know what you call them precisely. For those who like plantains, I'm gonna call them that. Um, I saw some people put sugar on it and even cinnamon, making it into micro pancakes. <laughs> so since I came back from traveling, I, I threw away, I gave away all my spices in Tooting Broadway in my previous house. So I'm just buying them back all, you know, so I don't have cinnamon at home. But once I get it, I'm gonna be putting it on my porridge and I'm gonna get some plantains as well and put it there try it for the first time I've never tried it but sounds amazing oh she had them as well those are pass actually let me show you something here boys and girls so it looks good now with the Sun oh I've never I've never noticed those before that one there That's amazing, isn't it? Oh, are you joking? I see dosa. Well, if they sell, sell dosa, shit, but there is no meat. Uh, decisions, decisions. Yeah, but you don't see dosa. You don't see dosa in many places. Meow meow, make the right decision, look at that. What puts me off slightly is only one... Um, it looks like it's coconuts. Uh, what you call it? Can it be called coconut chutney? No, it can't be. Can, can it? Um, so I like more of those little dishes there. Let me. So it's gonna be a no, just because of the promotion picture was well, not good enough. <laughs> but otherwise, I would eat it.
I'm just trying to get some pictures guys since I don't even have a thumbnail for my live stream and I might use any of these Anyway, boys and girls, the time has come. I'm hungry. Let me go in and eat whatever comes my way. Thank you so much for watching. This is not my first or last time in this market. I used to come here all the time, so my YouTube channel is full of videos from Brick Lane from the times when I used to focus more on the food. Right now it was more about people and, you know, I didn't stand showing you the food really. But if you would like to see some of the stalls, like the pig, piggy, piggy lane I was showing you before. <laughs> piggy lane. Um, check it out on my channel. Some of those videos are pretty amazing, not gonna lie. They are gonna make you hungry too. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you when you see me. Take care.